Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. And thank you guys so much for taking the time today. I really, really love the series. I thought it was a lot of fun, filled with monsters and jump scares. And so let's kick it off with something fun. Was anyone on set scaring someone constantly behind the scenes? Um, I think so. I, so was <laughs> I feel like I had all the like pranks played on me because I... I'm easily, easily terrified um, by everything. Um, <laughs> having PTSD yeah. right now. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a scary cat. Uh, that was my upset. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's so great. Um, Stephanie, I'm curious. So first of all, my daughter said, if I didn't tell you that they loved you in Ant Farm, I would not be their mom anymore. So I needed to tell you that. <laughs> It was very intense. Uh, but the character in this is obviously so different from that character. So what attracted you to this role? I mean, it's an exciting role. I, I've done a lot of horror before and, and uh, I've definitely played a lot of characters where things happen to them. So it was really cool for Carrie to be a bit more control of the situation and to be charging the demons, fighting back. Um, I think that's what got me really excited was her power and uh, all of the training that were involved with that with horror production as well. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, your character kicks ass and I love it. So, um, Amisha, I'm curious, what drew you to this project? Uh, I, I, everything. I, the, I, I've i loved working in horror before and I also love being a queer person. So to get to explore both of those things in a series that has so much heart and just has real ass teenagers just being messy and being teens while, you know, also fighting monsters, uh, that it was amazing. It, it, was, it's, it was such an entertaining read. So the audition was just a big playground at the end of the day. It was amazing. Oh, that's awesome. Love you and Freaky, by the way. So I love you in horror roles. I think you're fantastic. Oh, you. um, so Sophia, what brought you uh, to this series? Oh my gosh. I, I was really drawn in by um, how cool Tasha is. I definitely got kind of a city kid vibe from her. And I am a hardcore New Yorker. I will never shut up about it. Um, and... That kind of drew me in. I was like, oh, I could, I, I got this. Um, and she's very loyal and she's very kind and she's very generous. Um, but I really think that she also, she's got a lot that she's dealing with. And I was super interested in kind of exploring um, myself through her, which is what I like to do with a lot of my roles. I kind of end up learning more about myself at the end of a project than, you know, I think so. Overall, she's just a cool girl. I'd be friends with her. I love her. She's my girl. <laughs> That's so great. So Kristen Ritter is amazingly talented. I love that she directed um, half of this series. I think she did a great job. So I'm curious what it was like to work with her. And we can start with you, Stephanie. I love Kristen. Um, I think what she really brought to the show was her commitment to making these characters really real and genuine. I'm sure that came from years of acting and her directing experience before. But um, that's something I really appreciated. And um, she was also just ready to go. Every day we showed up, all the, all the scenes were ready to go. She knew exactly where the cameras were gonna be, how it was gonna be shot. And um, she, she was fantastic. Um, yeah, as soon as I found out she was gonna be the director, I was like, oh, okay. I kind of see where the show is going now. And I it got me all the more stoked. How about you, Misha? I can only reiterate that and more. I mean, Kristen is a force and shows up on set with so much energy but that energy is super directed and it's always geared towards getting the shot but getting the shot done well so it's it i always felt safe on set both with the emotional side of things but also just like kristen's gonna get it done and honestly same with our same with jacob chase our second half director this team was really on top of it and it, you don't always get that on a set so it was really cool to have it oh that's awesome do you have anything to add sophia yeah, I mean, Kristen is a freaking boss. Um, I could gush about her, but we'd be here all day. Uh, no, she's awesome. She was always ready to go. And um, what I really loved is that she was always um, ready to kind of hear what you, what ideas you had and would be real with you and keep it real with you. And um, I just love her. She's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I got to speak with her before this and she's just amazing. And you can tell she really put everything into this, which is so fantastic. Uh, so right before I wrap up, I'd love to know how you each would describe this series in three words. So we can start with you, Stephanie. <laughs> oh my gosh. This question always gets me, but um, it's an adventure. It's kind of brutal and sort of witty. Oh, I like that. Misha? 
Um, loyalty has come up a lot when we hear, uh, when we get this question. And I think, you know, these three people are really loyal to each other and they grow even more loyal as the series goes on. So loyalty, um, messiness, it is messy in all the best ways, um, both emotionally and, you know, blood and guts wise. Um, and scary, it's a scary show. So, you know, terrifying. <laughs> I love it. Sophia? Spooky, spicy, and dark. Oh, dark. That's true. I I gotta say, seriously, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot of fun. I loved when surprises would pop up. So I appreciate you guys taking the time and all of you were fantastic in this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much to all of my monetary supporters, my members here on YouTube, as well as my patrons. If you haven't joined yet, please consider doing so. We have some really awesome perks, including a monthly Zoom meeting where we get to talk face to face. Thank you again to everyone who supports me.